I'm Jacqueline with Absolute Realty and I'm here at Castle City Mobile Home Park in Newcastle, California at my new listing. It's at 1750 Sunset Drive and this uh, mobile home community is for 55 and over. This particular property is just listed at 110, so it's $110,000. It's a 1971 Skyline two bedroom, two full bath mobile home. And as you could probably tell by how clean it is, it just was painted a couple weeks ago. Um, real nice neutral colors. This uh, particular mobile home is on a corner type lot. Uh, right down the street here and if you go to the right at the end of where that uh, white single wide mobile home is that's the corner you turn and there's a back entrance out of here there's actually three entrances this mobile home park is on 62 acres and has 200 homes and is very desirable this particular uh, location of this unit is uh, very close to a very small of two lakes. Two, we have two lakes and the smaller one is just right over on the other side of the property where that palm tree is. Um, this is a great spot and I can say so because I lived in that house and I lived there several years and I lived in that far house several years and uh, the street is just a, a great street, great neighbors, good location and I liked it because it's easy in, easy out. We're going to go uh, walk over to the other side of this property so you can see the back side. This carport is really nice. It's a little higher up and wider than most, so you could take advantage of swinging around and parking if you have two vehicles, one here and one on the other, or just to drive through. Um, we're going to go to this back side so you can get a little idea. This this hillside has poppies. It's hard to see from here, but it's got beautiful foliage. This uh, angle here shows that there's a little bit of a back area, and I'll be swinging you around. But because it's on this corner type lot, it's got a lot more space to it. Um, I the, the list price I think I mentioned is 110 and it's two bedroom, two full bath. The uh, space rent for this particular unit for the new buyer will be 671 a month. And how it works at Castle City is they look for monthly income coming into the household of two and a half times the space rent. So they're looking at something close to $1,500 a month coming into the um, that monthly the household income for qualifying to live in the park. Now, as I alluded to earlier, I lived here for 10 years in this on this street. No one's ever used this space up. This would be a great place to have a nice sitting area, or as you can see, there's already some garden boxes here. There's so many opportunities to build build out or just do, I don't mean build out, I mean to uh, expand a garden area or sitting area. This uh, dish network is probably held over from two residents ago, so it needs to be removed by the new buyer. There's a nice patio, covered patio area back here. It's mostly shady all the time. And this is a pretty good sized shed, if I remember. It's still got some items in it but it gives you an idea when emptied, you've got some storage here. And let's go a little bit beyond over here and see how much of this space you have. Pretty private actually, at least this part is very private. You hear the distant sound of I-80, but it really isn't, isn't that noticeable. It's just getting to be the traffic hour. So yeah, there's just a lot to this lot most of the time. Um, when you get a, a home, mobile home, you most of the time don't have this much space to your lot. Pretty much a carport and a shed and then that's it. Let's go inside. And like I said, there's two bedroom, two full bath. And this is the living room we're walking right into. nice and quiet once you're in here. It's very large size living room, so not a lot of layouts that you could have your furniture. 
and uh, we'll pan over here. There is a hall closet that we just walked by. And there's some fresh paint here and there. This is the dining room. So the dining room has the built-in hutch and, and some storage. And it's sort of classic um, layout for this 1971 model of Skyline. This kitchen is a, a pretty good size. It's also very um, oriented toward having everything within reach. We don't have a refrigerator here, so the buyer would have to bring their own, their own refrigerator or buy one. Nice gas, and we have natural gas here at Castle City, so it's a natural gas stove. And then of course we have the laundry area, the washer and dryer do convey, so that means that they go with the property. And as we saw when we were outside, this is the carport entrance to go out quickly, unload your groceries, whatever you need to do. Okay, and then we've got this pantry, which is really nice to have. The home has um, a new swamp cooler. We're going to be walking down this uh, short hall here. And then another closet, so it's great for more storage. Hall, linen closet, whatever you want to put in there. So the swamp cooler system, I always prefer it. It runs on like a, a dollar a day. Um, it's a newer uh, swamp system, and then the whole house has been repiped with the new plumbing repiping. And uh, the roof was coated and sealed within the last couple years. This is the hall bath. This bath only has the bathtub. I'm sure at one time it probably had a shower, I'm assuming. I don't know that for a fact. So I don't know if the, you know... The, the body or plumbing is behind here, but I just know right now it's just the bathtub in here. So this is this is the uh, hall bath. And then this uh, straight across is the master bedroom, complete with some pretty big size closet doors and pretty deep. It's dark in there, but you get the idea. And then there's there's plenty of room for a queen or even a king size bed in here. It's good size. This window looks out to that private patio back there, so it's a little a little more quiet. The road is over on the other side where the other bedroom is that we're going to see. And then here's the master bathroom with just the one sink. And then we've got the the walk-in shower. It actually isn't a walk-in, but it's not too high. And you've got a shelf up there. Very nice. And the commode window. And then we'll go into that second bedroom now. And this is another good size second bedroom. A little, a little bit smaller than the master, but not much. And then this one faces the road. It's got two windows in here. It's pretty quiet though, as you can tell. And then this one, for whatever reason, has the has its own closet, walk-in closet that you could shut this door. So that's really nice. Okay, well that concludes my quick virtual walkthrough tour. Um, the home for heating has a, a central heating and I believe it's Coleman. Yes, it is. It looks like it's been serviced by various people, but we don't know the dates. Um, it operates just fine. I've used it a couple times that I've come in here in the last six weeks or so that I've been affiliated with the home and it works. I know that for sure. My name is Jacqueline with Absolute Realty. If you have any questions about this property or Castle City, I lived here for 10 years and I used to be the previous manager so I can answer any questions about this community. Great people. This is a great lot and location and um, thank you for taking the time to look at this video.